With today's 160 millimeter travel, carbon fiber, go anywhere, ride anything, mountain bikes. How about the only trail you can't ride is the one called Memory Lane. This is called Time Machine. <laughs> Santa Cruz, that's really home for me. Born and raised in the Bay Area and lived in Santa Cruz and Scotts Valley for years prior to moving down to Santa Monica. We spent a couple of days doing some testing and riding in general on the bikes. Racing may indeed be the ultimate test for a bike's capabilities. But it's days like today that prepare machine and man. Here is where the line is officially blurred between training and testing. Suspension settings and all that sort of stuff does make a difference. There's no one suspension setting or tire pressure. It's perfect for every stage of the day, so you've just got to find a good setting and just get on with it, really. Ride. Adapt. Adjust. Repeat. Is it filming right now? No. There's a red light on. <laughs> <F -ing. laughs> the boys had an idea of me riding one of the uh, old stump jumpers. Seriously, bro? It's a bolt up, man. Man! Do you think I can make it down in under three minutes on the death rack? No. I should probably kiss Paige and Chas goodbye. Just in case this is goodbye. At least the stem and bars are stout, man. I don't think the fork's gonna last. I think it's already bent, man. <laughs> that morning, I had maybe 12 runs on this trail. And to get on that old bike on that exact same trail was, uh, I was nervous to say the least. Vintage weekend, Santa Cruz. Oh my, it's, it's all wrong. There's a wheelie. Geos, suspension, stem links, everything was just wrong. It's like a dream, eh? This is called Time Machine. Come on, come on. This guy's gonna get. Oh man, this is death. Oh, hook it up! Gets a little sketchy real quick. Oh god, every bump, every bump, oh god, oh god, high line. Hold on, nailed it! Ever. Man, we're so spoiled nowadays. To think not too long ago, 20, 25 years ago, that was the future. And fast forward to now, to what we have. We basically, we ride spaceships now. In the bicycle space age, the design hub of Northern California is the equivalent of NASA's Cape Canaveral. At least six major cycling companies call this area home each progressing the limits of material and design on a daily basis. 
you know, in theory, what the bikes do, who they serve, actually hasn't changed at all. The technology, if you just look at the brakes, the saddles, the bars, just freaking everything has changed. Carbon, it was more of a Gucci material. You did it because you needed to, because it was high end and people wanted to see it. A lot of times early on, the bikes were not even better. I remember when Santa Cruz bought the, uh, the V10, it was the, the first carbon downhill bike, and everyone was like, oh my god, that's insane, that's gonna break. And then now it's just the normal thing. We, the industry, really gotten good actually making the bike better. That's lighter, that's stiffer, that's safer. Now we're gonna start to stabilize and capitalize on what the materials can do. Carbon's definitely the way of the future. I think, I think there's a lot of cool stuff still to come. With all the technology on offer, it's easy to overlook what the bike was, is, and always will be, a tool. It's an instrument of competition and an expedient for exploration. Ah, France. <laughs> I love riding in the Alps. The tracks will be big mountain riding, so the riding is always good in France. Hello sports fans, welcome to Enduro World Series Round 7 in Balberg, France. We finished a uh, sketchy stage one, just near death on either side. Yeah, this stage was amazing, just love it. Long and fast at the top, some tight corner. Yeah, it was a good French style uh, stages. <laughs> Yeah, but I just keep pushing it and like riding. It's fun, man. It's just loose out there. It's good. Just bobs like you know, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's just insane. Like, it's, like guys, if you want to ride this kind of stuff, come here. Six hours 20 right now since I rolled out of the start, so it's been a long day. My race bike got held in customs the whole time, so I'm actually riding just my training bike. We got it all dialed up and she's doing good. Day two's got a bunch of fun tracks, wet roots, slick rocks everywhere, off camber. I chose running the flat, so it's good fun, but it's, uh, it's hard, man. When you're making your list of people who ride bikes downhill very fast, for the past 20 years, two names should be near the top. Vuyuz and Hill. Nico's a legend and been a hero growing up mountain biking, so it's awesome to ride with him and race with him. Really? Been battling there. When you try, sometimes you cry. Here in the Maritime Alps, there's a clash of generations looming. Two of the fastest men to ever point a bike downhill are going head to head. Take each stage as it comes and attack, try to get some stage wins and see where it puts me, really. Seven second bar, nothing to do except if Simon has a problem, but. He's fast. <laughs> Eventually, the battle Nico and Sam would wage here in France would overshadow the hundreds of other race day narratives. Materials evolve. Steel is replaced by aluminum. Aluminum is superseded by carbon fiber. But a great bike race remains a great bike race.